Steam for Teens. I'm Hillary, and today we're going to be making rock candy. Rock candy is basically just sugar that has dissolved and has reformed into giant sugar crystals. So to make our rock candy today, we're going to be doing some science with solutions. A solution is a mixture of two substances, where one of the substances, called a solute, is dissolved in a liquid called the solvent. For our experiment today, sugar is going to be our solute, and water is going to be our solvent. To do this experiment, I'm going to be using one cup of water, two and a half cups of sugar, a cooking pot, a small glass jar, something to stir with, some food coloring, and then either a bamboo skewer and a clothespin, or a pencil and some string. We're also going to be using the stove for today's experiment, so make sure you have an adult help you, or at least check with an adult first to make sure it's okay for you to use the stove on your own. First, we're going to create the base for the rock candy to grow on. You can either use a bamboo skewer or a clean piece of string. Soak your base in water, then roll it around in sugar so it's completely coated. Set it aside to dry. I found that using string had better results. Next, add a bit of sugar to your cup of water and stir it until it dissolves. The sugar dissolves because when you put it in water, the molecules of sugar are attracted to the molecules of water. This attraction disrupts the bonds holding the sugar molecules together, which causes the big sugar crystals to break apart into its individual sugar molecules and mix among the water molecules. This mixture of sugar molecules and water molecules creates our solution. Keep adding more sugar to the water a little bit at a time. Make sure it's completely dissolved before adding more. but only so much sugar can dissolve in a certain amount of water. As you keep adding sugar to the water, the space between the molecules of water fills up with sugar molecules. When there is no free space left for the individual sugar molecules, the sugar stops dissolving and stays in its usual crystal form. This is called a saturated solution. However, there is a way to get more sugar to dissolve. The secret is heat. Transfer your sugar solution to a cooking pot and put it on the stove on medium heat. Make sure you check with an adult before using the stove or have one help you if you need to. As you heat up the water, the individual water molecules start to move faster. As they move faster, they move further apart, causing the liquid to expand and leaving more space between the molecules. Since there's more space between the water molecules, there's more space for the sugar molecules to fit so more sugar is able to dissolve. Keep adding sugar a little bit at a time until it's all dissolved. Earlier I said to use two and a half cups of sugar, but I found that I only used about two cups. Once it's all dissolved, turn off the stove, remove your pot from the heat, and let it cool for 20 minutes. As the solution cools back to room temperature, all of that extra sugar stays dissolved. 
This is called a super saturated solution because it contains more sugar than it could under normal circumstances. Once your solution has cooled a bit, carefully pour it into your glass jar or cup. It's still a bit hot at this point, so be careful. An adult can help you with this part if you need it. If you want your rock candy to be colorful, add a couple drops of food coloring and stir it in. Now it's time to add your base. If you used a bamboo skewer, clip it with a clothespin and balance it across the mouth of the jar so the skewer is submerged in the solution. Make sure it isn't touching the bottom or sides of the jar. If you used a string, wrap one end around the pencil and lay it across the mouth of the jar so the string dangles into the solution. Again, make sure it doesn't touch the bottom or sides of the jar. The sugar that you put on your base earlier acts as a seed crystal. This causes all of the extra sugar in your supersaturated solution to start falling out of suspension and forming crystals again, using those seed crystals as a foundation. Now all that's left to do is wait. Set the jar somewhere like a windowsill where it won't be disturbed or get knocked over. Over the course of the next three to seven days, your rock candy will grow. When it's gotten as big as you want, take it out of the jar, let it dry, and it's ready to eat. Just make sure you check with an adult before eating it. So how did your rock candy turn out? Let us know in the comments how it tasted and if you used any fun food coloring for it. If you'd like to show us pictures of your results, we'd love to see them. Feel free to post them on Facebook or Instagram, and be sure to tag us. We'd love to see your results. Thank you for joining me for today's episode of STEAM for Teens. Stay tuned for another episode soon, and be sure to subscribe to our channel if you'd like to get notifications every time we post a new video. Until next time, take care and stay safe.